Hi there. Which side hustles can someone start while they are still in college, while they are still doing their diploma, doing their degree, and so forth? I'm going to discuss with you three side hustles someone can look to start while they are still in college without training and then hopefully be able to make some money at it. And by the way, these side hustles I'm going to discuss are applicable whether you're studying, for example, in Kenya, South Africa, the UK, the US, Canada, Australia, name it. These side hustles are applicable whether you're studying wherever you are in the world. You are all much welcome to my channel. My name is Afagza Sifunam. So the very first side hustle someone can start while they're still in college is the side hustle of selling electronic related or computer related appliances. And I'm saying so because, guys, we all understand with this new digital age, whether you're talking about someone studying in whichever continent, most students out there have smartphones, right? Most students out there have computers and so forth. Most students out there have playing consoles and so forth. So in case someone is able to package themselves very well, they be the plug for different electronic appliances, they know what to acquire them cheaply, and they're just adding on them a reasonable margin, and then they sell to students, they're going to be well in business. Think about it. Think about a university or a college which has over 5,000 students coming in for lessons, coming in for group discussions, coming in to do research each and every day. Be rest assured of these, just 1% of them or even 3% of them, we're talking somewhere between 50 to even 150, might require any form of electronic computer or that kind of appliance within the school, you know. Accessories are in high, high demand. Whether you're talking about chargers, you know, whether you're talking about batteries and so forth. So be that supplier right within the school. And of course, you can brand yourself very well, even ensure you have a good online presence so that when a student has any of their appliances or even any of their accessories break down, they just look for you because they know you're going to deliver. And if you do this, actually, you're going to be able to scale this business in real quick time. In no time, you're going to be able to scale this business and be able to make a good amount of profit, right? And then the second business idea you could look to delve into right from, the, you, 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 right from when you are still in college, in university, and even in a university dorm is actually the idea of selling candy and chewing gums, right? Guys, I'm talking about you selling different kinds of sweets, selling chewing gums. You know, this is some of the things students buy passively, okay? Someone goes for lunch, after they've eaten lunch, they buy candy. They buy different chewing gums. So, you can be the supplier of candy. Be the mobile supplier of candy within the different student centers, you know. Be the supplier of candy within the different social places in the, within the school. And by the way, you might just be in business and actually be able to make profit without sweating. By you selling candy to students, you know. Selling different kinds of chewing gums, selling different kinds of sweets, and you're going to be in business. And by the way, for this, it's not really complicated. All it requires for you is actually to carry a few packets of candy in your bag while you're going to school. And be less assured, you're going to be way on course in business because you're going to be making a profit without really sweating that much. We're talking about people being at the center of place and then you just asking them if they want candy, selling to them. And then over time, they'll even know you had their plug for candy and they'll just be coming to you to purchase any time they want, right? And then the third and last idea I want to discuss with you is the idea of you doing graphic design. Yes, I'm saying so because in universities, in colleges, that's where we have the root or the popping up of the popular culture in each and every country. So if you can do graphic design, you can be able to get long-term clients right from college, right from universities, because you have a good number of people out there who want, for example, their t-shirts having graffiti on them, you know. They want, for example, different branding, you know, of different products. We have people out there, for example, who want branding of their website, design of logos, and so forth. So you might just be that much sought after graphic designer. Be the one to do the work for them. If someone wants, for example, an album cover, a mixtape cover, be the one to design it for them. And guys, be sure you're going to be able to build your name, and over time, you'll be the most sought after graphic designer right from your college room, you know, right from your college, whichever college you are in, whatever in the world. So if you have skills and you are passionate about graphic designing, delve into this. And it might, it might just be your full-time gig even after school. Why do you think about these three different business ideas? Is there an idea you think I've forgotten? 
which we think is also very, very scalable in case you delve into it while still in college. Share with us in the comment section of below. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I look forward to share with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye and you all take care.